Hey lovelies! So as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to the best taste of the summer, nothing compares to fresh, sweet corn on the cob. And as though corn on the cob wasn't delicious enough on its own, today I want to show you three amazing but simple ways to doll up your corn on the cob to make it even better. If you're hosting a barbecue, a pool party, dinner at the cottage, these three ideas are an amazing way to take corn on the cob and just elevate it to the next level. Starting with this awesome garlic and herb corn on the cob, which might just be my new favorite summer recipe. Now when it comes to your corn on the cob, you can really prepare it any way you want to. I boiled mine in this case, but you could also bake it or grill it on the barbecue. All three methods totally work. And then to make my amazing garlic and herb topping, it all starts with some melted butter, as most great recipes do. And then to that, we are going to add a lot of beautiful fresh herbs. I've got some parsley headed in here, as well as some fresh basil, and I've also got some chives. Then, to get some amazing garlic flavor happening in here, I am actually going to be grating half a clove of garlic straight into my butter. You can go a half a clove, I think that that's pretty sensible, or if you really wanna go for it, a full clove, but that'll be a lot of garlic flavor happening. Don't say I didn't warn you. You're a vampire slayer. Once you've got all of that yumminess in your bowl, you can just give it a quick stir. And then we're just going to use a pastry brush to get all of this flavor all over the corn. I mean, if you're going to be enjoying corn in the cob this summer, why not doll it up a little? Make it special. Now I'm using salted butter in this recipe, but if you're using unsalted butter, go ahead and add a little bit of salt to this as well. I'm telling you, this recipe is a total game changer. This is what summer tastes like. <laughs> they're, they're gesturing to me off camera to tell me that I have corn on my face, and now I'm just moving it around. Small price to pay, seriously. Next for something a little sweet, a little spicy, a little Asian inspired, we are making some sweet chili corn. And the base for this is some sweet Thai chili sauce. You can usually find this in the international aisle at your supermarket. Now, to add just a little bit of savory flavor to this sauce, I am going to add some soy sauce, and I'm also going to stir in some freshly grated ginger. These flavors together are so complimentary and just so lovely when paired with nice, tender, sweet corn. Just something a little bit different. We'll give this a stir and then brush it on our corn. I like serving this up with just some thinly sliced green onion, and this stuff is to die for. I think it's amazing for entertaining. You could serve it up with some really delicious grilled Korean short ribs, and you would have a winner of a meal on your hands. I have to make short ribs on the channel. Finally, if you are looking to give your corn on the cob the royal treatment this summer, you've got to try my amazing take on traditional Mexican street corn. This recipe all starts with a little bit of mayonnaise in a bowl. If you're not into mayonnaise, you could swap in some melted butter, but mayonnaise is really traditional here. To that, I'm adding some chili powder and the zest and juice of a lime. So we've got a little smokiness and a little tanginess happening. I'm just going to brush that mixture on each of my corn cobs. So I really like concentrating all of the toppings in the center of the corn cob, so you have something to hang on to while you're eating. Definitely optional, but it does make things a little tidier. Only a little though. And then I am going to load on some crumbled cotilla cheese and some freshly chopped cilantro. This is one of those recipes you seriously have to taste to believe. Honestly guys, you may never be able to eat regular corn on the cob ever again. This Mexican street corn is absolutely amazing. Get it, mice? Is corn in Spanish? I hope all three of these delicious ideas inspire you to get a little corny in the kitchen this summer. If you do give them a try, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo, because I always love seeing your kitchen creations. All three of these yummy recipes are available on HealthyMealPlans.com, so I hope you will take a look for them there. And finally, guys, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.